my dear students how are you i hope you all are keeping fine and safe at home i also hope that you all are eating healthy and staying healthy at home i am miss gloria abrio a teacher of saint paul high school and i will be your history teacher for standard 3 my dear students in today's class that is chapter number 2 of history studying the past we are going to have two videos that is part 1 and part 2 video once you finish the part 1 video you need to follow the link to the part 2 video let us proceed students to study the part 1 video now my dear students look at the first picture what can you see in the picture you can see a student is doing something or a child is doing something that is the child is studying now students look at the second picture what word can you see in the picture my dear student you can see the word past now students recollect once again what did you see in the first picture what did the teacher tell you that the students or the children were doing they were studying in the second picture what word did the teacher show you the teacher showed you the word past in today's class of standard 3 we are going to study the second chapter of history that is studying the past in our second lesson of history that is studying the past we will be studying four sub points the first one the past present and future second what is history third how do we study history and fourth tools of history that is timelines and sources in our part 1 video we will be learning the first two sub points that is past present and future second what is history my dear students before we begin let us see why is it so important for us to study the past we have to study because it helps us to know how we evolved it also helps us to know the changes that were brought in our body what inventions were done in the past how the early humans were then and how we humans are now how the life of living has changed from the early humans to now it also helps us to know how in the past fire and wheel was invented and now there are so many changes that have brought with new new inventions it is very important for us to study the past when we study the past my dear students we can also bring changes in our present and also our future now let us begin with the first sub point that is past present and the future the past present and the future is a continuous chain of event the time that has already gone by is the past the time that we are in now is the present the time that is yet to come is the future the past includes many events that has already taken place now my dear students look at the first picture what can you see in the first picture my dear students you can see a small little baby that is you were a baby in the past that was you had no age you were zero years and now from that zero years to now that is your present you are 8 years old and you all are going to school that is your present now from this 8 years to the another 8 years that is your future some of you all will be in college and some of you all might be finishing your school that is your future now look at another example my dear students in the past that was you were in second standard that was your past now in the present 
you'll have jumped to third standard that is your present in the future that is next year you all will be in fourth standard that is your future my dear students now my dear students let us see which are the words that indicate the past present and the future the words like some time ago yesterday and last year are the terms that indicate the past the words like now today this year are the terms that indicate the present the words after some time tomorrow next year are the words that indicate the future our second sub point is what is history now my dear students you may be wondering what is history events that tells us about the past events means something that has happened and you cannot forget about it history is like a science that tells us about the past events events means like in our life there are many important moments we keep them as a memory precious so every day what we do is counted as an event for example like yesterday you did something that you will remember it always that is also an event and that event is remember as our past members of our family to have an history the members are who my dear students the ones who are staying in your house that is your mama your dada your brother your sister your grandparents all these members to has an history that is there is a event that has occurred in their life in the past which they can never forget it so that is also a type of history history helps us to find out answers to many question history provides us with guidelines that is rules about how we should behave today in order to have a good future history also helps us to understand how people's way of life went on changing now you see my dear students in the previous class you learnt about early humans now you must have known how is their clothes how they were living and now look at us that is in the present are we living the same way are we eating the same food no so through that we understood that how the life of people kept on changing from past to present and now the future also every village city district state country has a history the earth water bodies mountains animal world to have an history students also remember there are two peoples that are historians and archaeologist they are the people who study history and help us to understand it and know about it now my dear students we will look at what all changes that history bring about let us look at the pictures that have been placed front of you the first picture that is dr rajendra prasad he was the president of india in the year 1950 now look at the next picture now this is the president of india that is ramnath kovind is the same president that is dr rajendra prasad ruling our india your answer will be no now look at the other picture now there is a black and white phone that is there and are we using the same type of phone or now there are new new inventions of phone that is you have different brands of phone that have come up like samsung iphone oppo vivo and all the other ones now see history has brought about so much of inventions and technology as well let us look further 
Look at the clothing. Is this the same clothing we are wearing? No, the answer will be no. Because there is new new styles of clothes that have come out. There is changes in the style of dressing as well. Now look at the changes in the wheels as well. My dear students, in the previous class, you seen how they were using the wheel. And now look at the present. Are we using the same type of wheel, my dear students? No. Why? Because they came to know about the difficulties they were facing while using those type of wheels in the past. So they brought about changes in the wheel and now look the different types of wheels that you get for your car, for your bicycle or for your bike as well. The next picture that you can see my dear students that is a group of students or kids are sitting next to a TV but that is a black and white TV. My dear students, in the past, if anyone even had a TV that was of black and white. But now, look at yourself at the present. Are we using the same black and white TV? Or there is a change, there is a difference in our TV from past and from present that we are in right now. My dear students, history also brings about many changes in different inventions as well now i'm sure most of y'all have an led tv at home and also y'all may be having the latest one that is the touchscreen tv as well let us recollect once again my dear students what did we learn in today's class of history of lesson number two that is studying the past in our part one video as well we learnt about why do we need to study the past. We learned the first sub point that is past, present and future. And the second one that is what is history. The next two sub point that is how do we study history and tools of history that is timeline and sources will be studied in the part two. This is the end of the part 1 video. Kindly follow the link to the part 2 video. Thank you dear students.